Alright, so this video is about Gary Larson, and I gotta say I'm a bit of a, a Calvin and Hobbes fan myself, but uh, but I also I also like Larson. Um, I had a had a far side calendar when I was a kid, so yeah, this brought back some memories. Um, so the thing I decided to do this rather than uh, give you a history of uh, Gary Larson or um, do some analysis. Uh, in-depth analysis of his uh, his themes. I would I would just show you a few of his comics and you could get a laugh out of them. I'll, I'll maybe give you my thoughts into them, but not 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 too much in depth because I, I don't think that's the point. So uh, apparently, growing up, his brother exposed him to a lot of science, and they used to collect animals um, along the beaches where they lived um, in Tacoma. And so this first comic is about scientists, and I'll show you it. So it's got a bunch of uh, guys in lab coats around a chalkboard with a bunch of equations on the chalkboard. And the caption reads, Go for it, Sydney. You've got it. You've got it. Good hands. Don't choke. Um, and <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I guess it's a bit of a laugh because yeah, most scientific discoveries happen in completely the opposite situations from this. They happen uh, normally in complete silence and also complete solitude. Uh, so the second second comic I got um, shows six six different pictures of the same dog, um, I identical pictures and with different uh, different writing below each of them. Once happy, depressed, angry, pensive, excited, and suicidal. And so, uh, yeah, and the caption reads, How to Recognize the Moods of an Irish Setter. And, uh, and I myself have an Irish Terrier, so I've got to say, uh, that that's, that's fairly accurate. I think we, I think we give all too, uh, these, these dogs are not all that smart. <laughs> and, uh, we give them, we tend to give them far too much credit. Uh, and so another thing Larson likes to do is show animals in the roles of humans. So this last comic features a uh, hunter, a what looks like a park ranger, and two deer, the female deer of which is standing up covering her mouth, and the male deer is on his back on the floor, and the hunter's gun is smoking. And the caption reads, I'm sorry, ma'am, but his license does check out, and after all, your husband was in season. Remember, just because he knocks doesn't mean you have to let him in. Uh, so I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess what he does is by putting animals in the roles of humans, he kind of points out some of the absurdity in uh, human behaviors. And the last thing I'd like to do is address address the bicycling question. Uh, I think that just exemplifies my laid-back attitude toward life, you know? Uh, not too concerned with the time when this still am not. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, you definitely definitely also brought back some memories of near-death experiences on the way to Western, um, riding through downtown at 50k an hour. All right.